Aries, let's look into your love life for the month of February 2020. So this is a new spread that I'm going to be using. So first we're going to look into the energy of what's going to happen within your romantic connection. And then we're going to look into the individual energies of what's going on with the female and the male within this connection. So let's first start off with the connection itself. I have here the stork, the heart, and the coffin. I also have here the cards of Kunzai and Emerald, as well as the frying pan and the arrow cards. So these are the cards that I have regarding what's going on with your connection, Aries. So this is interesting because it looks like some of you can be leaving a romantic interest or leaving your lover and ending a connection. And for some of you, this is going to be, bring about positive changes in your love life or improvements in your love life by ending this connection. Some of you are going to be leaving someone. And again, this can bring about positive changes for you. Now, some of you are experiencing troubles challenges and difficulties in your love life or in your connection. However, you are moving forward on the right path with the arrow card. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So this is the aspect of your love life. You're moving forward in the right direction here. So I'm feeling as though the female in this connection here may be looking for more love in her life with this Kunzai card. So she may be looking for more love in her life. And if so, this woman needs to look within herself and embrace the love that resides within her and become a magnet for love, light, and well-being. Now, I'm feeling as though this male here may be more focused on increasing financial security and money and prosperity at this time. But we will get into that in just a moment. Okay, so when it comes to this female here, I have the cards of the tree, the woman, and I also have the stars. And normally I don't read these cards in reverse, but the stars card did come out in reverse. And for this particular reading, I'm feeling as though the reverse position is relevant. So I decided to go ahead and keep it in that position. I also have here appetite and Unikite, as well as the rainbow and the beetle here. So let's see what is going on with this woman. Now, I feel as though this woman is going to be receiving a lot of intuitive messages. And this could especially happen when she quiets her mind. Now, it looks like for many of you, if you are this woman, you may be someone who's grounded or someone who's spiritual. You could even be someone who's a light worker. You could be very enlightened. This also looks like it can be a soulmate connection and that it may be a past life connection or a karmic connection as well. So you could be a karmic partner to this male or a soulmate to this male here. And keep in mind, we have many soulmates, not just one. So it looks like whatever this woman wanted, whatever this woman desired when it came to this connection, perhaps did not manifest because we have the stars here in reverse. And in the upright, this speaks of wishes, hopes, dreams, aspirations, manifesting. So in the reverse, I'm feeling as though what this woman wanted within this connection maybe did not come about. And she could have been practicing a lot of restraint and a lot of patience regarding this male, but what it is that she wants or what it is that she is wanting is not coming forth, which could lead her to end this connection or could lead her to move forward in another direction because she wants to go on the right path towards love, romance, and happiness. So this woman here may be experiencing some emotional upsets and she may not 
feel as though she can swallow what is going on in her life or whatever is happening here is a hard pill to swallow. So it could be a good idea to balance yourself for this woman here, balance yourself through self-nurturing activities. Also watch your diet and embrace your emotions. If you are experiencing any extreme emotions, embrace them because they are valid. And I also feel like this male here could benefit from embracing his emotions as well. So this female here may be feeling a little agitated by the actions of this male. And again, there's something that she's feeling as though it's difficult for her to swallow that keeps coming up. So this could also be causing some kind of digestive issues or issues regarding the body or even the emotions. So this is a good time to pay attention to what you're thinking or talking about. Also, this is a good time to pay attention to the foods that you are putting in your body or the nourishment that you are putting in your body. Wholesome foods, thoughts, and conversations can make things easier to process and to accept. So I'm feeling as though the most difficult part here with the rainbow card, or I'm seeing here that the most difficult part of this situation is over. And this could be because this female decided to leave this partnership or to move away from this connection. And again, go in the best direction or go in the right direction towards what it is that she wants. So the most challenging part of this situation is now behind this woman and she is going to bring about or experience some good fortune in this connection so there's a positive energy that is replacing the negative energy within this situation now when it comes to this male here so if you're a woman this can be your romantic partner here or your love interest. And if you are male, this is going to be speaking about yourself. Again, I'm feeling as though this male here at this time during February is very focused on financial security, money, and prosperity. I also have here pyrite and turquoise. So this says that this man is worried about his finances and he may be trying to build more prosperity in his life. I have the moon, the man, and the book. Now, this man may be focused on using his creative skills at this time because the moon stands for creativity and creative projects. So he can be focusing on a creative project at this time, or he can be focusing on creating, again, more wealth, more finances, more stability here. And he needs to know that he can earn unlimited outcome doing what he loves to do. This male here can really benefit by using his skills and following his dreams, also by having confidence and believing in himself. Maybe this male does not believe in himself. Maybe he's not, he does not believe in his creativity or believe in his abilities, but he needs to believe in himself and his abilities to bring about success. Now, it looks like this male here is keeping something hidden. With this book card the book stands for secrets hidden unknown but it can also stand for revealing secrets revealing what is hidden so this male here is keeping things secret he's keeping things hidden he's keeping things to himself and he may wish to express something to this female here express something to this woman and for some of these males, they don't know how to express themselves or the right way to express themselves because there is something that they want to say. They could be keeping their feelings, keeping their emotions, keeping their attraction to this female a secret. And because they're keeping this secret, the woman isn't seeing anything from this male. She's not seeing the emotion. She's not seeing the intimacy. She's not seeing the chemistry. She's not seeing the attraction or the affection. So that is leading her to say, okay, you know what? I don't think I want to stay in this situation. I'm going to move forward because I'm not getting what I want here. I'm experiencing troubles and challenges. So I want to move forward towards what it is that I really want, towards what it is that I really desire. And it does not look like this person is able to give that to me at this time. This male really wants to express himself, but he's not doing that. 
He does have very strong emotions here with this fire card. He does have very strong emotions. So this card speaks of strong emotions, passionate love, or hate. Now, this is a passionate love. This is passionate romance. This is chemistry. So he's very attracted to him here, and he's very attracted to this female here. And this female appears to be very good looking as well. She may have nice eyes between the ages of 30 and 40, perhaps, for many of these females, not all because this is a general reading, but many of these females who I'm speaking about are speaking to are between the ages of 30 and 40. They can have very nice eyes. It can be either brown, green, or hazel, long hair. This person can have a birthmark or a beauty mark. For some of these women, there are freckles. This is a very attractive woman here. Actually, it's attractive. Both of you guys are very attractive. Both of you guys are very attractive. Now, for some of you, this is a male who wears glasses or contacts. He can be nearsighted. He can have lighter skin tone. For some of you, lighter hair, something light about him. But of course, not all. I see a very, very attractive couple. I see two very, very attractive people. One of these partners or one of these people may be tall and slender with long legs, delicate build. I'm seeing two attractive people. Okay, and one of these partners has brown hair. I'm feeling like the male is going to have lighter hair. The female may have brown hair, may have brown hair with like blonde in it or something like that. But I'm seeing one of these partners has a lighter skin tone. Maybe deep set eyes as well. One of these partners has a chiseled look or an angular jaw. So, and of course, this is a general reading, so that may not resonate with all of you. But again, it looks like this man here is very focused on his coins. He's very focused on his money, his business, his career. But he has a lot of passionate feelings towards this woman, but it could be because of his career. Maybe he's learning something. Maybe he's in school or he's working on these creative projects, anything like that. It seems like his energy is placed elsewhere at this time, even though, again, he has these strong emotions and he has a lot of passion towards this female here, but it also looks like he's experiencing some fear and some worries, creating a tense situation. So again, this woman may just say, you know what? I don't think I want to sit and stay around for this, causing her to move forward. And it's interesting because we have the beetle, but I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a scarab, which is that Egyptian beetle that cannot see. The beetle is blind, but it always moves towards the direction of the sun. So it's always moving towards the direction of the light. It's always moving towards the direction of what is positive, what is bright. So I feel as though that's what this woman is doing. And that could be what she's ending this connection. She wants to move forward on the right path. She wants to move forward towards the light. She's not really down with the secrets, with the hidden, with the unknown anymore. She wants to know what is going on here. She doesn't want these obstacles or these challenges or this sense of separation or this stalemate. Some of you could be in a stalemate with this connection, but she wants the passion. She wants the passion. She wants things to heat up. She wants something delicious and wonderful to experience. So again, she could be feeling as though, you know what, what I want did not come about, so I'm going to move forward. I do feel as though many of you are healers, many of you are light workers, many of you are guides for others, many of you are intuitive who are watching this, or those of you who are this female, you're resonating with this female energy. I absolutely sense many of you are spiritual, many of you are light workers, healers, and, and things like that, very enlightened people here. Some of you could even be well known as well. But again, know that the difficulties are now behind you now that you are moving forward. Yeah, this man is very focused on money, career, prosperity, entrepreneurship. He's focused on building his foundation, his money. And that may leave no time for the female here. And she may sense that. She can likely sense that. So when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this connection, 
Again, if you're looking for more love in your life, look within yourself. Cultivate the love within yourself. Self-love is absolutely essential. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Do nice things for yourself, especially if the other party here is not able to do nice things for you. It's not their responsibility to do nice things for you. So instead, do nice things for yourself because you deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel love. You deserve to feel worthy. And that will allow you to become a magnet for love, a magnet for romance. And either if you are this male or this female, if you need to express something, express something. But know that you are love and that all love surrounds you and all that is attracted to you is love. So you are bringing in love. And especially for this female, this female really is cherished and cared for. You know, she's very attractive. There are strong feelings from this male towards this female, even if he's not showing it. So know that all that is attracted to you, especially for this female here, is love. Look within and love all aspects of yourself exactly as you are. Know that you're lovable. Know that you're beautiful. Know that you're amazing. And I'm feeling as though for some of you, because this male has not been giving that attention or giving that affection, you may be questioning your sense of lovability or being deserving of love and know that you are regardless of this person's actions. This person's actions does not have any bearing or does not dictate how lovable, how wonderful, how amazing, how deservable you are. They're two totally different things, two totally different things. So continue to attract love, joy, and happiness into your life. And allow yourself to feel comforted by those beautiful energies coming to you. Also, open your consciousness to various forms of expression. Express yourself with ease and grace. And I'm feeling as though for many of you, this is more so towards this male here. But take this if it resonates with you. Activate your creativity as well. And again, pay attention to the divine downloads the divine inspiration, the intuitive messages, the divine messages that you receive. You could be receiving messages and communication from angels and spirit guides as well. And if you do have the opportunity to have a serious conversation with each other, make sure to listen twice as much as you speak. Even if you have to read between the lines, that's just a message that I'm getting, listen. Listening is very important. And it may also be useful to notice the signs around you that you are experiencing as well and that you are receiving as well. If you experience anything that seems like a coincidence, for example, I'm hearing you can be hearing your lover's name. What else am I getting? Seeing things that remind you of him. For some reason, I'm saying flowers that reminds you of him or butterflies or a smell. If you're receiving these kinds of messages, just take note, they're not coincidences, they're synchronicities. So for this female here, nurture yourself. And also it's really important for her to go towards healthy foods and ingest healthy things, things that are good for her. That is absolutely imperative. This female really needs to take care of her diet and what she is eating and what she is drinking and what she is putting into her body. So this is not a good time to just indulge in comfort foods or indulge in, you know, low vibrational foods. Things that are thick, things that are heavy, things that are not sustaining or things that you can just eat, 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 eat right away and give you no nutritional value. Be very mindful of what it is that you are putting in your body. Also, explore different avenues for coping with emotional upsets. Excuse me, guys. I just had a delivery come, so I kind of lost my train of thought there. But let's go back into this female here. So we were talking about what it is that she is putting in her body. And this is a very important time to put healthy, nourishing foods into her body here. And to be at ease with her physical body. So it's very essential to be at ease with your physical body for these females here and to be comfortable within yourself and be comfortable 
within your surroundings as well. And know that as you care for yourself regarding the foods that you put in, it's interesting because I just had a food delivery. So regarding the foods that you put into your body, the more you put these healthy foods into your body or the foods that will nourish you, the better your emotions will be. And I just heard for some of you, probiotics may be very good for you to take at this time if you're not taking any probiotics. Now for this male here, he's very focused again on entrepreneurship, on business, on money, on wealth, on prosperity. So it could be very useful for him to know that he is blessed with abundance. Know that he can be successful in all his business pursuits. And remember that his actions do come from a loving place. And he does have good intentions here. But it does look like he may need to reveal what's going on to keep this woman from going in a new direction or going away from him. So if he does want to keep this woman in his life, he may have to reveal what he is keeping hidden, which are his emotions, which are his strong emotions, his passionate emotions. These need to be revealed. And that could keep this woman from moving forward or from going in another direction away from this person. So it looks like he needs to switch his focus from money, wealth, prosperity, and business not onto this woman, not switch his focus, but balance it. Balance it. Because really, he can put energy into both things. So this male needs to remember that he is prosperous and abundant. He is abundant in all areas of life. Abundant in career, abundant in money, also abundant in love and romance as well. He has limited potential and can fulfill his higher purpose in all areas of life. Also, he needs to know that he can attract whatever he needs to to be joyously successful. And again, that's in all areas of life. So it really just looks like this person is focused elsewhere at this time. Now, his focus may change. Aries, his focus may change and he may be able to bring more balance to this connection, but it looks like from the cards that I have here during the month of February, and this may be only a snippet of what's going on. This may be only a snippet of what's going on because again, this female is heading in the right path. She is moving away from challenges and she does have good fortune and she is moving away from the light. So what I feel is though, or what I'm feeling is that Despite the challenges going on, there will be a positive outcome on the other side of this. So on the other side of this ending of this connection, on the other side of this female leaving this person, on the other side of these secrets and these mysteries, there will be a positive outcome. So the way to get there, let's look at the way to get there. So the way that to get there, I'm feeling as though for the woman is to keep moving, moving forward towards what it is that she really wants, moving forward towards mental, emotional health, physical health, positive physical health. The healthier this woman is, the more positive the outcome here. The healthier this woman is emotionally, physically, mentally, the more positive the outcome here. So focus on your health for these females, for the women here, for the woman. Focus on your health, focus on your digestion, focus on eating healthy foods, focus on nourishing yourself in healthy ways. For this man, he may need to take care of this for the time being, take care of these finances and this money and this prosperity thing for the time being. But also if he wants to keep this woman, he needs to bring some balance into his life and not be just so focused on one area, but be able to incorporate joy in other areas of life into his present as well. So Aries, that's what I have for you for your love and romance for the month of February. Thumbs up and like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, check out my new website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. That link will be in the description box below. Also, make sure to grab your free three tip cheat sheet to attract you love in the description box. And if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you would like your question answered within 24 hours, send me a message to the free Instant Go app instantgo.com slash mypsychiclovecoach. You can receive guidance or predictions to your question within 24 hours. Sending you all so much love and so much light, and I look forward to seeing you here soon. Bye.